Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I had a fail because I said my actual name. But obviously it's actually kind of good because I, I kind of had a heavy self-conversation with myself. So I can restart it with a lighter tone actually now. So <laughs> kind of better. And what the main topic was my was my older cousin. And because I haven't actually told him about the channel. Like, uh... Not the one with, because I I have two cousins on my mom's side. I have th there's one with that has a a guy and a girl, and then there's one with a guy. And the the one I'm talking about is just the the single child, the, the guy. And obviously, I don't want to fail. But actually, because like the one thing I will I will say is that he actually helped me get better at video games over the years. Because even though this may seem very annoying. He actually never let me win, which obviously, it does kind of hit you hard, but like, he never fully let me win, and that's kind of what made me better. Like Mario Kart, he is actually decent on Mario Kart. He would be better at games like Smash, but like, I never really won against him. And it always, it did bug me to a certain degree, but nowadays I'm more like, yeah, it actually did make me better at playing. because. The best example I can give you was uh, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Brawl, and it was that whenever we played, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, if you don't know how to do the heavy hit, like the really ultimate heavy hit, you know where you where you charge it up. Oh my God! I'm just getting Mario Kart over here. Uh, if you don't know how to do the heavy hits on Brawl, it's one, two, and then press whatever direction, and I'll do it. But you have to press uh, one and two at the same time, I believe. And he knew how to do that, and I didn't. And I got my butt absolutely handed to me. There were a couple of times where I actually did win, but other than that, I pretty much always lost. And eventually, I figured that out when we got to when I got to be you, because I, I was wondering, and I was spamming a lot of buttons. And eventually, I accidentally did it. I'm like, oh, that's how he did it. And after that, I my win ratio actually gained a little bit, but not too much. But yeah, it's just hard to play with him because he's really strong and he's really good at games, and it's hard. Because <laughs> there, because uh, I, I will be honest, there were times I just kind of wanted to be like, say, Disney Infinity, and I just wanted to relax. And then you come in and I, I would be like, oh no, prepare for destruction. Because like, no matter what, there's always going to be a person like that. And it's always good to have one of those because it makes it interesting always. But I'm not a person who always likes chaos. I actually like this. I may be playing Mario Kart, but I'm having a grand old time. I think it's just relaxing. And people may call me like, oh, you're just being, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you're crazy. This is not easy. This is a very stressful game. But honestly, I'm having a grand old time. Even though I had to restart a recording, I'm having a fine time. I like this. But the thing is, we all, uh, he always does look out for me. And honestly, he is one of the people I like uh, I like hanging out with. Because we, we haven't hung out in a little bit. But I like hanging out with him because, as I said, he never gave me, like, he never gave me a chance to always... He never... English... Wow, my brain is just broken. Uh, <laughs> he never gave me an easy chance to win. But when I won, it felt so satisfying. And, uh... Yeah. Trying to think. Uh, one of the games I actually loved playing with him, uh, it was only the last, the last year or so, was Zombicide. And the reason why I liked playing Zombicide with him was because we were on a team. And there was a lot of strategy to it. And obviously there were times where if you played Zombicide, they had to kind of ditch me because I was like, oh, I'm dead. And it was hilarious because, like, obviously you had those games, you, you, you're dead, you can't do anything. There were times where we did uh, three characters each, and I had fun. Because Zombicide is a two-hour game, pretty much. And, you know, it, no regrets. Each time we played it, it was the best two hours because it was working as a team. And I like team. I like team games. I like having friends to help me. Uh, but one thing I can remember, because I believe this was him or it was a creeper, because 
I played, I uh, smashed a lot with Creeper over the years, but with Creeper it's a lot more even because it would be like, I win or he wins. And then there would times where he would just get a full day of just killing me, and then there would be times where I'd get a full day of killing him. But, anyways, getting back on top. Uh, basically, uh, I remember that there was this time, and I think it was him, but, uh, when, I think it was the Switch came out, and I think they were going to release, uh, they were going to announce Ultimate in general. Uh, I remember that there was a time, uh, trying to think, because I, I, I'm looking at stuff and it's confusing me, but, uh, I remember, we, uh, because I had the Wii U, because I, I played the Wii U, because I liked it, and it was fun, <coughs> unpopular opinion, but, basically, uh, I remember we went online, because I was like, hey, you know, we've done a couple, couple battles against uh, each other, I won one, you won about seven, let's try working together, and let's see if we can kill people online. And I kid you not, we went online, and I think it was the first matchup, or it was the second matchup, there were two people, because we did 2v2s, so we were on the same team, and the 2v2 we went against was, both of them had Mewtwo's, so both of them had bought the DLC. And by the way they were moving, it was like, oh yeah, these guys are experienced. And I love it because we were just like, well, wait, we're gonna die. I think we knocked one stock off each of them, and I died, well, obviously I died first. And then I think he died after, but I knew, I think we knocked maybe one stock, off, one stock off each of them, and then possibly we knocked maybe one other, but we didn't kill them. We, we had no chance of killing them because we are not that good. Well, I mean, he lasts longer than me, so I'm not gonna regret that much, but yeah, I like doing that stuff. I like hanging out with him, but it's just, it's just a passes. But honestly, when he next comes over and we next hang out, obviously I want to do all that game, all the games, because I want to work hard. I want him to give me a full challenge. I want to actually win and get the satisfaction of winning, knowing that he didn't take it easy on me. He went all out. And I won because I got better. Because that's the one thing I can always admire from him. Because I don't like being babied in games. I like actually you going all out. Even with my younger cousins on my dad's side. I go all out against them. I played Pikmin 3 and I played Bingo Battle. And they didn't like it that much. But I didn't go and I didn't completely be cocky the whole time. I, I completely played them as normal person. And... Even though they both didn't like it that much, the older one actually was like, can we do another round? Because he actually wanted to see if he, well, he actually wanted to understand it more and try different maps. Because he likes the idea of having other Pikmin and other colors and other abilities, which is something I admire, because I actually like doing that as well. But, that's, uh, like, obviously, like him, I wouldn't take it easy on them. But honestly, like there were times where I actually did take me, like honestly, the first couple of times we played any game, I actually had to like go complete baby mode. But now, to some degree, I don't go complete baby mode, but they always do bounce back. And it's always uh, great fun. Because they they always do keep putting up a challenge no matter what. And the older one is actually getting stronger in games. He currently plays, I think, mostly, he decided to main Ryu on Smash. Uh, he got, uh, because the, the actual name is Ryu, that's what they say, I say Ryu, because that's kinda, because in some games they, they say it's Ryu, some games they say it's Ryu, I don't care. I say Ryu, doesn't matter. Tomato, tomato, uh, potato, potato, who cares? But, basically, he mains him. And he actually does decent damage. He... Is, I, I won't go like, he's the worst or anything, like, no, like, he's actually does put up a good challenge against me, but I've had the game longer, because I play key, I play characters like Lucas, Mario, I play a bit of Sonic, I play a bit of Cloud, oh no, oh, I can't block that, and I play a lot of different characters, I think I have 10 characters I really play, like, I don't play Inkling, I, I think the, the idea of having to refill is too time consuming, but, like, I like playing Ridley, so I would just switch it up to always make him on his toes. And again, a character he recently got into is Olimar from playing Pikmin. So I thought that was amazing, because I was like, oh my god, he actually likes Pikmin. So he's deciding to try Olimar. And obviously, he actually is pretty damn good with Olimar. 
we, we were having a stalemate where every time we used, uh, every time we battled, we each would uh, get a smash bar after each other. So we'd use the wing Pikmin to try and avoid it. And there were times where I got hit with the rocket tip on the way down, direct hit, and I'd still live. And then there was a time where I basically kept saying that you're gone, you're dead, and then he would slowly come back on the screen and like, because I was little Mac. And then I go back up and do the 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 up smash, which is the uppercut. And I'd be like, no, you're gone, you're gone, you're not coming back. And then he'd come back down again, and then I keep doing it, and it was just hilarious because it took about a minute because every time he started to come down, I pretty much battled him back up. Obviously, it was more tedious because I thought I was actually gonna lose. I thought he was gonna hit the ground, and I had a higher percentage. So if he had hit, if he had landed on the ground, he probably would have knocked me off because Little Max recovery is real bad. But it makes me feel like the older cousin, and that's why I am taking some pages out of his book, where I'm not gonna let them win easy. But the one page I decided to create on my own and not do on his is I decided to like make it more chill, because I feel like when I went against him, I felt like. It was always somewhat tense. Now, but now when I face my cousin, my younger cousins, I try and leave it more chill. Where I'm more, I'm more like, just keep getting back up, keep pushing, keep pushing. You got this. You got this. Come on, use that attack. Come on, you got this. I I don't know why. I just feel like I because I can't even English. I just don't know what to say. I just feel like. I don't know, I, I just like having young cousins on. Uh, the way I'm doing it is feels better to me in a sense. It's like how you raise a child. Each people have their different ways, but the way that I feel like I'm doing it, it just makes me realize in my mind that it, to me it feels right. And people can criticize me on that all they want and they feel like, oh, but you're being a jerk. I don't feel like I fully am. and. Maybe that's how he felt when we were training against each other. It's just because, uh, from my end, it felt like he was being a jerk, but he probably was just being him. And that's a, that's a beauty with humans and people in general, because you're always just being yourself. And even though his training may have been hard, he made me better. And I'm definitely going to show him this video. I'm definitely going to link him this video when it comes out. And he was actually one of the people I'm nervous to, I was nervous to tell uh, my channel about. Because... He was such a big part of my life, and honestly, because right now we haven't been able to hang out because he's in college and I'm, you know, high school, so we haven't been able to hang out as much, so it's been hard, and I want to actually, you know, talk to him. Last I heard was, he said he was making an actual version of Zombicide, like video game version. So when I heard that, I got excited, and I was like, oh my god, he actually liked playing Zombicide. He wanted to learn more, he wanted to create the idea of it in actual video game form but anyways that's just a little little rant I, I feel like each each of these videos is gonna have a little rant so if you don't want to listen to them I think just don't watch the videos I'm warning you now uh, but anyways uh, to my cousin uh, I'll just call him because uh, his actual name I will leave you know I won't say it but when we because he actually decided to make a Roblox account, and uh, when we did that together, he chose a name, and he said because of the original comic series, this is what uh, he, this is why he named it, not the actual like TV like Ultron Spider-Man thing. Uh, Scarlet Spider, or well, Scarlet. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you, man. It's I actually do appreciate it massively, and you have been a big part of my life, and I hope you keep being a part of my life, and I'll make sure to never lose contact. So, just thank you for everything you've done for me. And until next time we we speak. Because next time we speak, I am definitely trashing you in Smash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you, man. You've been amazing. And thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, don't forget the bell notification, and... Yeah, just make sure to talk to your cousins, and make sure to just to talk with your family because it's just nice to do that from occasion to occasion and it's just personal stuff but just make sure you always talk to your family but as always guys thank you so much for watching 
and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out everything under. And as always, guys, stay awesome.